What's up, losers, and welcome back to NCAA 2013. This week, we will be playing the University of Georgia Bulldogs. Let's see what we can do, and hopefully we can come out on a win. Come out with a win on this one. Trying to continue on our win streak here. Let's not be losers. Rock and roll. Keep it rolling. Intensity at a fever pitch. Just about set to kick it off in the SEC. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. And right now, it's time for kickoff in the SEC. Yeah. Red Nestler and Cooper Green. This will be a real test for me today. Right over this one. Bring it down to 26. Reese Davis joins us in the studio for this update. Reese. The quarterback brings his troops out of the field for the first drive of the game. Hughes takes it right side. One drive for a nice game. Hughes gains seven yards on that play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Dang it. The defensive end has just got to speed. It's an offensive first night. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back. I'm pushing the friggin' button. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Oh, my gosh. Ball on their own 16. He's Greenland. God bless it. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. The offense will take over at the three. It's first and goal. They put everyone up on the line. Jones with a pitch. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Georgia with a six point lead. He makes the PAT. Line up to kick this one off. He puts it deep downfield. He's to the 10. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. <laughs> he finds forward to about the 19. It's second and ten. Ball on the 19. Ah, dang. Third and ten. Come on. Ball on 
From their own 29 yard line, it's third down. The crowd is really letting them hear it. Back to pass. For talks. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the second quarter. Dawson is the deep man waiting to return. Lockdown at the 32. With one 
quarter down. I don't really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Mike Dean acted that the whole way. For Georgia, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to him on several occasions. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. Second down and seven. <coughs> There we go. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He scrambled. There we go. Now we get concentration what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him. But he's able to keep the defender away from the football and come up with a nice catch. He's tackled right around the two little line. And he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. They're at the two. Second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Changing the play. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Twenty-five. Adolph is right. The nice run up the middle. The Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. I don't know why they take the time out so early. It took a lot of room to cover. He's at midfield. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. The 37. That makes it second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They get the ball back at the half. And he's taken down around the 25 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. Drops back on first down. And he hits him hard. 
21 yard line. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. From the 21 yard line, second down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, they need to get it to the 15. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. He's scrambling. It's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. So the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence in this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defenses put him on. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits in. Well, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-7, Georgia. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21. From their own 21-yard line, first half. They look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's on the run. Terrific effort to pick up the first team. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turn. For their own 47 yard line. It's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Rolls to the left. Going deep. Lays it out there. He's taken down. Number 44. The crowd in the line. That's what I'm talking about. There's any offensive coordinator in the country that ever expects to have this kind of success. This guy deserves a raise. He's to the 10. The game clock's in front. 14 10. The opening minutes of the third quarter are sometimes the most important of any game, especially in a game this way. He puts it deep downfield. He's to the 10. And now he goes at the 28. Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. Thanks, Brad. So far, this game has been stressful for each offensive coordinator. Coach told me during halftime that they feel just a couple of scores might be enough to win this one. But it won't be easy at the first half in any education. Andrews, South Carolina, they were able to force one mistake and they look for more to up their advantage. Back up to you, Brad. Second and 13. Ball on the 25. Here's the block on hold. Gets out to around the 35. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Turn out a huge factor here. And down he goes to the 38 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Here's the block. And 
they push him out right around the 46 yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run to be brought down. This is definitely going to be a good back and forth game. From midfield, first down. Looks quick this time, he can't hang up. Aye, aye, aye. From the 50, it's second down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Good throw. He gets hit out of bounds. The 36 yard line. First and spend the whole third quarter. And this one drive. in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He flies forward to out the 33. The yard, maybe two on the carry. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this run. There we go. This quarter has been so making big decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this quarter will come up with even more picks in the future. We go first and six. Ball on the 29 yard line. On the run. And he makes a stop at the 41. Very well designed play that time to give him the first down. Miami executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. South Carolina is up by four. Again, they'll get the throw. He's at midfield. And he tackles him hard at the 38. They've got a solid drive going here. No, it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the floor. We'll get at least get the field goal out of it. Hughes gets it on their hand. Makes it out to about the 29. It took us a little bit to get the one, but once we did, we been doing pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Second yes. That's what's up. Look at 
the throw. The Williams that's his fifth set for the season. I tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He's so hard to keep off the throw. We have cranked up the heat and doing good now. They ran the ball very well on their last run, and it resulted in six. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. South Carolina is in front by 11. From the 33 yard line, it's second down. Setting up play action. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Ooh, this is second down, eight yards. Start out as a rough one. Ball on the 15. What? This turned out pretty good. He's got a good run. The 10. So that the first down on an 8-yard completion. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. It's first down. They'll be looking for six points here. Yay! Where was the holding call on that one, dude? So we've got a first down after a great running play. to throw on first down. Their offense kind of fell apart in the second half of this game. 
from the 23 yard line. Second down. I think that 25 second drive I had before the end of the first half demoralized them. I mean, I could still technically win this thing. So we're looking at another third down here. Score a touchdown here that brings up 17. Onside kick. Score again brings up 24. Score again. 31. So it's fourth down, the offense is still on the field. Less than three minutes in the game. All right, let's play run the clock. Keep the clock running. Keep it running. Keep it running. Come on, running. Hop that up. Check it and see. I got a fever of a hundred and three. So again, we're just trying to keep that clock running. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. We're red hot. We can't stop. We're red hot. Another set of downs. Right now we're just adding his rushing yards. I think one more play and that'll be the game. I just gotta get that clock down to under 30 seconds. I might just get under 25. Yeah. It's the tailback. They're eating up a lot of the field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Victory formation. Takes a knee. Yes. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 28 to 10, game five. Let's go. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Georgia probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. They had us in the first half, not going to lie.
let's look at the game stats. Very even on first downs. Got them beat on yards. We only have 52 rushing yards. That don't seem right. Went 12 for 13. 198 passing yards. But we were terrible on third down conversions. We had one turnover. They had two. We punted once for 49 yards. They did twice. On average. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, do all those fun things. And as we always say, bye-bye.